Welcome to the Mainline Health Menopause and You Chat with a Physician. My name is Dr. Beverly Vaughn. I'm a gynecologist at Lankanaw Hospital and the coordinator of the Mainline Health Menopause and You program. Our chat will focus on different areas of menopause as related to our guest physician's specialty. Thank you for joining us. Statistics show that for women, there, there's an increase in cardiac disease after menopause. Can you describe for me what changes occur in menopause? One of the um, significant changes during menopause is the loss of estrogen. And it is believed that in premenopausal women, estrogen is protective in development of heart disease. So therefore, uh, one of the, that is considered one of the most important changes after menopause. Is there a role for estrogen as hormone replacement therapy um, for the prevention of heart disease? The current guidelines uh, for treatment of heart disease and use of hormone replacement therapy for treatment of heart disease state that based on the most recent uh, clinical studies, hormone replacement therapy should not be used for prevention of heart disease. The reason is that studies have shown that in women who already have some established heart disease, it may cause um, heart attacks or may be a higher risk for clot formation. But in women who have significant uh, problems with um, symptoms from the loss of estrogen, so as hot flashes, um, problems with um, palpitations, and other significant problems with uh, menopause, um, they, if they're healthy, they may benefit from a short-term course of estrogen. And I know you're a specialist in arrhythmias, which are irregular heart rhythms. Tell me something um, about women and aging and arrhythmias. Uh, with aging, um, women and men also are prone to development of problems with the electrical system. Even if you have a normal heart and even if you have n uh, uh, normal coronary arteries and even if you never had a heart problem, you may still develop a separate problem with the electrical system. The symptoms that you may develop are feeling fluttering in the chest or what we, the, we call palpitations, feelings like skip beats, and um, sometimes this can be brief and last in seconds, but other people may develop symptoms of palpitations which may last a long time and may cause symptoms such as dizziness or chest pain. Are there other symptoms such as fatigue that might indicate you have an irregular rhythm but you wouldn't necessarily link it to a heart problem. That is uh, definitely true. I take care of many patients that come to the emergency room or come to the doctor's office complaining simply of shortness of breath. They cannot go up the steps uh, the way they did. Uh, when they're walking, they suddenly are tired easily, uh, fatigue, and sometimes mild chest pressure. And when we look at examine the patient and take a electrocardiogram, it turns out that the, the patient is in an fast, irregular rhythm and they were not aware of it. So I'm glad you, you asked these questions because many t uh, times people are not aware that they're having a rhythm except for that they don't feel well and um, wait a little bit too long to be evaluated uh, instead of being seen immediately. Thank you, Dr. Hernandez. That was a wonderfully informative session. I appreciate your spending the time to talk with us today. Thank you again for inviting me. You're welcome. I hope you all have enjoyed uh, viewing the webcast. Thank you.